In this video, we're going over how to use the Google Pixel 3 and Pixel 3a for beginners. Hey everyone, thank you for joining us today. If you want to stay up to date on all the cool technology coming out and learn tips, tricks, and hidden features, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below and tap the bell to turn on post notifications so you can be alerted every time we post new videos. In this video, we're going to keep it short and simple, and we're going to be showing you how to use this phone for a first time Android user or someone who is new to a Pixel phone. We're going to start with the buttons. So on the outside here, you will have a power button at the top and a volume up, volume down. Pressing power will turn off the screen or just put it to sleep. Press it again to turn the phone back on and just swipe up to wake up the phone. Now, if you hold down the power button, it will take you to this menu where you'll have a power off button, a restart and a screenshot option, as well as an emergency button that you can tap to trigger um, specific things if you're again in an emergency. So that's how you would turn the phone off if you want to turn it off is again holding the power button down and you can hit that power option there or use one of those other two options there. Now to put the phone on silent, you actually would hold the volume up or volume down button. So just hold it. It'll trigger this menu where you can either control the um, sound of the phone or you can put it on uh, silent by tapping this. The first time you tap it, it will put it on vibrate. And if you tap it again, it will it will slash the uh, bell. And sorry, it'll look like this. That's full silent. This is all sound on and that's vibrate. So those are the three different options. And if you come all the way down to the bottom here, tap on this option, it'll allow you to control the volume for all the different um, things on the phone. So media volume, that's if you're listening to a song or you're listening to a video, call volume, your ring volume, how loud the phone will ring when someone calls, and your alarm volume. So you can control all those in this section here. All right, so those are all the buttons. On the back, you do have a fingerprint scanner, and we'll show you where to set that up in a second. All right. So at the bottom of the screen here, you will see this little dash. This is your home button right here. So no matter what app you're in, if you tap this, it always takes you back home. Just to show you an example, if I tap on Google here, if I tap the dash, it'll take me right back home. Just that easy. If I want to get to um, the various apps that are running on the phone, so just to give an example, if I open up Google Chrome, which is the internet, and then I go home and I open up um, the Play Store and I go home, these are two apps that are still running in the background of the phone. And to get to those apps, to get back to them, you can swipe up. Again, this is just um, an easy swipe up, kind of a swipe and hold. And you can see these are the two apps that I just had open. So that's how you get back to anything. If you open something, go home, you swipe up, and that's how you get back to that app to continue whatever it is you're doing. Now also, if you're in an app, you'll notice that right next to the home button, right here, you'll have a back button. So anything I tap on the screen, if I wanna go back one step, I just tap on this little back button here, and it'll take you back one step. If you tap it again, it takes you all the way back home. So this is your home button, and that's your back button. The back button, again, only shows up when you're in an app. So that's sort of basic navigation for the phone. Now, um, so the apps, or what's short for applications, or the programs, you'll find in what's called the app drawer. To get to that, you're gonna just swipe all the way up. So what we did before is we just did a half swipe. This is a full swipe up, and this takes you to all the different apps that are on the phone. And these are all the pre-installed apps that come with it. Obviously, we'll be able to download more, but these are all the apps that come with the phone. If you download a game or anything else, you'll find it all in this same section. So once again, just swiping all the way up, takes you to your app drawer, pull back down to go home, and um, that's where you find all the different uh, programs or apps again that are on the phone. Now, if you wanna download an app, 
you would go to this icon here, which is called the Play Store. This is where you'll find um, apps, games, anything you can download for the phone, you'll find it in here. Before we go there, I wanna show you how to connect to Wi-Fi on your Pixel. So you're actually gonna swipe down from the top of the screen, and this takes you to what is called your notification panel. So for example, if you signed into your uh, email account, and someone sent you a new email, you would see it, it would pop up in this section. You'll get notifications, the phone will make little noises, and when you swipe down, it'll take you to here where you'll see any text messages, emails, or any other notifications you've gotten from another app or program on the phone. So that's just found in this section. Now to connect to Wi-Fi, you have this icon here. This is your Wi-Fi icon. You're gonna hold down on it, and it will take you to the Wi-Fi section of the phone. And here I can just, um, right next to use Wi-Fi, I can tap this to turn on Wi-Fi, and then it will begin to look for different Wi-Fi networks that are available. Let's say you're at a Starbucks or uh, out in public and you're looking for a public network, you would look for it in this section here, and once you found one, the found the one you're trying to connect to, you would tap it, and then you would just enter the password, and that would connect you to that Wi-Fi network. Now, if you do have this phone set up on a um, cellular network, you don't have to use Wi-Fi, but it tends to be better to use Wi-Fi, especially when you're at home, because uh, the speeds tend to be a little faster than your mobile network, just FYI. So, once we turned on Wi-Fi, we connected right to our home network right here, and now we can tap our little dash here to go back home. And now we're gonna show you really quickly how to download an app on the phone. So we're gonna again go here, which is called the Play Store. And the first thing it will ask you to do is to sign into a Google account or a Gmail account. Now if you have one, great. We'll tap on here. All right, so again, if you already have a Google account or a Gmail account, you can simply enter the email address right here. If you don't have one, you can tap create account. And here you can actually set up a brand new uh, Google account to use to download apps, movies, music, games, all those different things. There is no way to bypass this process. You will have to have a Google account in order to be able to download things onto the phone just as an FYI. So let's go ahead and sign in really quickly here. So we put in our email address and password. We're gonna hit I agree, give it a second, and then it'll ask you to approve a few more things. And then now we will end up here, which is the Google Play Store. And in here you can download, once again, all types of games, productivity apps. Uh, right here at the bottom it shows you the different uh, sections, so games apps, which are things like social media, Amazon to buy things, uh, Pandora to listen to music, uh, LinkedIn, social network for businesses, all kind of things. If we go over to movies and TVs, movie and TV, you can download movies or TV shows. Um, you can also go to books here and download ebooks, audiobooks, comics, all kind of different things. So think of this as a one-stop shop. This is your store where you can download anything and everything you'd want on the phone. And if you have a specific game or thing you want to download, come up to the top here in this search, tap here, and then you can type in the name of what you're looking for. So maybe you want to download uh, a slot machine app. You just type in slot, S-L-O-T, and hit the search and then it will recommend different options based on what you searched. Now, a little trick, if you tap on the microphone, you can just say what you're searching for instead of having to type it in. So maybe you want to download Wheel of Fortune. I can tap here, Wheel of Fortune. And here it will um, do a voice search and it has pulled up the app for Wheel of Fortune. So. Let's say I want to download the Will of Fortune app on my phone. I can tap install and you'll see it has begun to download on the phone. That's how you download applications or games onto your phone. 
Now we just downloaded the Wheel of Fortune app. We installed it and now you can see it popped up on our screen here. And also if we swipe up, you'll find it in this section again, your app drawer, which you'll find all the apps on the phone. Now, if you want to take a picture and use the camera, you would tap on this little camera icon right here, hit allow, and then this will allow you to take pictures with your phone just by tapping the little white circle there. And that's how you take pictures. If you want to take a video, you just swipe over to the video section and then hit the record button. And now it is recording a video. And we can hit to the right here. This little icon will take you to your gallery so you can look at whatever you just took a picture of or a video of. Then we can go back home. And the last thing we wanna show you is how to set up the fingerprint scanner. So you're gonna to go to the settings on the phone. To get to settings, you can again, just swipe all the way up and look for the little settings wheel. Tap on that. And to make it really easy for you, come to the very top and click on search settings and just type in finger. Once you do your search, you're gonna tap on pixel imprint. And from here, you'll go to pixel imprint again. And right below it says tap to set up fingerprint. So tap on that. And then here, we're gonna just pick pixel imprint plus pattern. And it, it will always ask you to set up some type of backup form of security in the event your fingerprint, um, the fingerprint scanner is not working. So we can just set up this as a, a pattern password. So we'll just make it an L, hit confirm, and um, hit done. Now hit next, and then you're gonna pick up the phone, take your finger and put it over the fingerprint scanner and it will begin to learn your thumbprint so you can use it to unlock the phone. And you'll just keep tapping until it says it's been added. Now uh, on the left side here, you do have an option that says add another. So you can add a second finger if you want another one. If not, hit done. And now you can lock the phone, take your finger, and it will unlock the phone for you. So that's how you set up the fingerprint scanner. So anyway guys, this has been how to use the Pixel 3 and Pixel 3a for beginners. We try to keep it sort of simple and basic to the main things you would use the phone for. Um, so hope you guys did find this helpful. Leave a comment down below. Let us know if the video was helpful for you. If it was, hit the like button, favorite, and share the video. And stay tuned for more. Take care and have a good one.